you know, the freighter line trucks that you're making here at this plant uh, run on natural gas, and that makes them quieter. It makes them better for the environment. It makes them cheaper to fill up than they would be with diesel. Uh, I hear you sold your 1,000th natural gas truck last November. The first company to reach that milestone, and it was made right here in Mount Holly. And last year, this plant added more than 1,000 workers, hiring back a lot of folks who were laid off during the recession. That is something to be proud of. Now, here at, Di here at Daimler, you're not just building trucks. You're building better trucks. You're building trucks that use less oil. And you know that's especially important right now because most of you have probably filled up your gas tank a time or two in the last week. Or and you've seen how quickly the price of gas is going up. A lot of you may have to drive a distance to work. Higher gas prices are like a tax straight out of your paycheck. And for companies that operate a whole fleet of trucks, the higher costs can, can make a big difference in terms of the profitability of the company. Now, here's the thing, though. This is not the first time we've seen gas prices spike. It's been happening for years. Every year about this time, gas starts spiking up, and everybody starts wondering how high is it going to go. And every year, politicians start talking when gas prices go up. They get out on the campaign trail, and you and I both know there are no quick fixes to this problem. But listening to them, you think uh, they're worth. As a country that has 2 percent of the world's oil reserves, but uses 20 percent of the world's oil, I, I'm going to repeat that. We've got 2 percent of the world's oil reserves. We use 20 percent. What that means is, as much as we're doing to increase oil production, we're not going to be able to just drill our way out of the problem of high gas prices. Anybody who tells you otherwise either doesn't know what they're talking about or they aren't telling you the truth. Here is the truth. If we are going to control our energy future, then we've got to have an all-of-the-above strategy. We've got to develop every source of American energy, not just oil and gas, but wind power and solar power, nuclear power, biofuels. We need to invest in the technology that will help us use less oil in our cars and our trucks, in our buildings, in our factories. That's the only solution to the challenge, because as we start using less, that lowers the demand, prices come down. It's pretty straightforward. That's the only solution to this challenge. And that's the strategy that we've now been pursuing for the last three years. And I'm proud to say we've made progress. Since I took office, America's dependence on foreign oil has gone down every single year. In fact, in 2010, it went under 50 percent for the first time in 13 years. Now, you wouldn't know it from listening to some of these folks out here. Some of these folks. <laughs> but, but a key part of our energy strategy has been to increase safe, responsible oil production here at home. And under my administration, America is producing more oil today than any time in the last eight years. Under my administration, we've quadrupled the number of operating oil rigs to a record high. We've got more oil rigs operating now than we've ever seen. We've opened up millions of new acres for oil and gas exploration. We've approved more than 400 drilling permits that follow new safety standards after we had that mess down in the Gulf. We're approving dozens of new pipelines. We just announced that we'll do whatever we can to speed up construction of a pipeline in Oklahoma that's going to relieve a bottleneck and get more oil to the Gulf to the refineries down there, and that's going to help create jobs, encourage more production. So, so these are the facts on oil production. If somebody tells you uh, we're not producing enough oil, 
They just don't know the facts. But how much oil we produce here at home, because we only have 2 percent and we use 20, that's not going to set the, the price of gas worldwide or here in the United States. Oil is bought and sold on the world market. And the biggest thing that's causing the price of oil to rise right now is instability in the Middle East. You guys have been hearing about what's happening in, with Iran. There, there are other oil producers that are having problems. And, and so people have gotten uncertain. And when uncertainty increases, then sometimes you see speculation on Wall Street that drives up gas prices even more. But, but here's the thing. Over the long term, the biggest reason oil prices will go up is there's just growing demand in countries like China and India and Brazil. There are a lot of people there. In 2010 alone, China added nearly 10 million cars on its roads. Think about that. 2010, 10 million new cars. People in China, folks in India, folks in Brazil, they, they're going to want cars too as their standard of living goes up. And that means more demand for oil, and that's going to kick up the price of oil worldwide. Those numbers are only going to get bigger over time. So what does that mean for us? It means we can't just keep on relying on the old ways of doing business. We can't just rely on fossil fuels from the last century. We've got to continually develop new sources of energy. And that's why we've made investments that have nearly doubled the use of clean, renewable energies in this country. And thousands of Americans have jobs because of it. It also means we've got to develop the resources that we have that are untapped, like natural gas. We're developing a near 100-year supply of natural gas, and that's something that we expect uh, could support more than 600,000 jobs by the end of the decade. And that's why we've worked with the private sector to develop a high-tech car battery that costs half as much as other batteries and can go up to 300 miles on a single charge. Think about that. That will save you some money at the pump. And that is why we are helping companies like this one right here and plants like this one right here to make more cars and trucks that use less oil. 